let's do some exercises for our hands and our wrists. Now these exercises are designed for people who are living with dementia in its later or more advanced stages and they would also benefit from some caregiver support. So if you're leading your loved one in this activity, then please ensure that they're sitting in a position where they can clearly see and hear the content of this video. Or if you'd like to have a go at leading the exercises yourself, then the same principles apply. So just make sure that you position yourself in a place where your loved one can clearly see and hear you. So we're going to begin by doing some exercises for the wrists to warm them up. Then we'll move on and do some that are more specifically designed for improving and strengthening the grip. And these can be really important exercises for helping to prolong and to promote independence. So they're well worth doing. So if you have anything in the house, like a soft stress ball or even a rolled up pair of socks or a bean bag, that's going to be a really useful aid in this activity. So let's begin by warming our wrists up and that will help prevent any strain from developing. So if you bring your right hand up first, have the fist gently closed, not squeezing tight. And then just start to rotate the wrist round in a circle. Now you might hear it cracking and popping a little bit. That's okay, we're just working all of that out. That's it, so just move your wrist around in a circle. Now you might want to change direction, take it back the other way. That's it. Very nice. Okay, let's move on to the left one now. So if you lift up your left hand and arm, and gently close your fist again not squeezing tight and then start to bring that wrist round in a circular motion as well oh i can hear mine cracking and popping there that's it and again bring it back round in the other direction very nice now you might like to try doing both at the same time it's very good for coordination so if we lift both of our hands up, have our fists gently closed, and then start moving them both around at the same time. Very nice, that's it. Then maybe the opposite direction. Lovely. Okay, that's great. Now the next exercise we're going to do is very good for the flexibility of our fingers and hands. So if we bring our fingers and hands together like this, okay, just in front of our chest, then we can pull our palms apart so our fingertips are just touching. And that's it, and then back down together again. So let's do this five times and you can count along with me if you like. So one, pull our palms apart so our fingertips are touching and back down. Let's do that again. Two, so our fingertips are just touching and back down. And three, pull your palms apart and that's it. And down. Four, and down, and one more, five, and down. Very nice. So if we keep our hands in this position, now we're going to stretch our wrists. So first of all, we're going to very gently just push our wrists back on our left hand side. So we're pushing down on one hand with the other. I'm just going to hold that for a few moments. Don't push too hard, just as far as you're able to go. Okay, and then we'll go right the way over to the right hand side. So our left fingers are pushing down our right. And let's go back over to the left again. And then over to the right. Very nice. Our wrist should be nice and warmed up by now. Okay. 
And our next one's very good for stretching the fingers and the hands. And this can be done any time that you're feeling stiffness in your fingers and hands. So if you lift up both of your palms with your fingers stretched right out and then close them again into quite a soft, gentle fist. So we're not squeezing hard here. And then open them right out again. And then bringing down to a more closed, relaxed fist. So let's try this one five times as well. Okay, so one, stretch your fingers right out. And then back down to a closed fist. And two, stretch them right out again. And then relax. Three. And down. Four and down and the last one five stretch it right out and down very nice now this is the time that we're going to take our aid whatever it is a stress ball or a rolled up pair of socks as i said either will do or a bean bag whatever you have in the house so i'm going to use this little stress ball here nice and soft initially so if you have it in your right hand to start with Okay, and we're just going to squeeze it as hard as is comfortable for just about three seconds. So the count of one, two, three, and then relax the grip without dropping the ball. Okay, so we'll try that again. So just squeeze it as hard as is comfortable for the count of one, two, three, and then relax. So we'll do that another few times, I think, because it's really good for helping to strengthen our grip. Okay, so squeeze the ball as hard as you can without it being too uncomfortable. And then relax it. Okay, let's try that another twice. So squeeze the ball as hard as is comfortable. Then relax. And then one more time. Give the ball a squeeze and relax. And this time we're going to pass it over to our left hand. We'll just do the same thing again. So squeeze the ball as hard as is comfortable with the left hand and then relax. Let's do that again. Squeeze it quite hard, hold for a few seconds and then relax. Let's squeeze it again. We're going to do this another twice. And then relax. Squeeze as hard as is comfortable. And relax. And the last one. And there we go. Well, thank you so much for doing these wrist and hand exercises with me today. I hope you enjoyed doing them and that you can feel the benefit of them. Over time, once it becomes easier to grip the softer balls, you can move to using harder ones, ones that are a bit more firm and that will improve the grip even more.